Well, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tune in the episodes. Last episode, we did this Chevrolet Corvette. Um, it's really old school. I can't remember the year exactly, but it's an amazing car. It was really surprising how well it actually performed. Felt a little bit like a boat at the start, but we got it into an absolute stable machine. Uh, it has the power, it has the sta uh, stableness, it has everything you want in a drift car, which is absolutely spot on what we was aiming for. So I'm going to jump back and go into the auto show and we're going to find a random car uh, that we can use. Uh, obviously I have changed the format uh, where I just choose a completely random car. Um, I close my eyes and I scroll through and when I stop, I stop. So let's do this. Um, hopefully we can get something along, along the same kind of lines but yeah, let me jump into the auto show. Okay, so we are in the auto show. Um, we've got to see how this goes because obviously we don't want to pick the same car again So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna scroll to the car where I chose last time and then I'm gonna hold forwards Oh wow, there's so many nice Chevrolets we could have got but we got the boat. We got where is the boat? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's the 1960 version. Uh, so I'm gonna scroll forwards from here um, obviously Wherever I stop, I've got to tune that car. I think every car in this game is tunable to be real drive, so it's completely fine uh, whatever we land on. So let's go. Okay, I've closed my eyes, and we are scrolling. Come on. Oh, I'm wishing for a good car here. I'm going to go a little bit longer. I'm going to go for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now. Oh, <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Mercedes-Benz <laughs> C65 oh, What? <laughs> to be fair, I was, look, I was waiting to see like a Mercedes um, Like a, a normal Mercedes I just had it in my head for some reason But Yeah, we got <laughs> We got the C60 uh, The G65, sorry uh, Should go for the white and black Hopefully this is actually swappable to rear wheel drive, but I'm sure everything was actually swappable. Um, but we could always hope. We can always hope. Um, so there's 220,000 credits for this monstrosity of a whatever it is. That's a madness. I've just got stolen. I've just got stolen. Not even having that. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into the upgrades. Um, Pretty weird car, not gonna lie. Uh, we've had two strange cars that I would have never ever would have chose if I wasn't doing it random, uh, which is kind of good. We get a nice variety of cars, I suppose. Um, so let's not go into tune. I didn't want to do that. I want to go into upgrades, um, custom upgrades, and we want to jump all the way to the end to conversion and convert the drivetrain to a rear wheel drive. There we go. Okay, so this weighs a lot 2,000 kilograms. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 2,000. Oh, hey, man. Okay, okay. To be fair, I kind of like the, just the Mercedes one here. It's gone for the kind of clean with chrome. Um, I've completely ram bars. Though. I think that's what they're called, ram bars. I might be wrong there, but yeah. Um, so what do they have as stock? What's the difference? There's no difference. So there's not adjustable there. And then that's just exactly the same. Okay. So we might as well just go with Mercedes Benz because apparently it removes a wing, but you know. Um rear Okay, that exhaust gets a little bit of an upgrade down there. So let's go with the Mercedes Benz version here as well. We're going for like a kind of like an off road look, uh which is kind of different from what I normally do. Um, so let's do that as well. It's got the protectors over there. What are they? What are those little bits there? If anyone knows what those little pop-up bits are, they, are they lights or something? Um, I can't tell, but if I was able to move my camera, I might be able to see, but, you know, yellow spike. All right. <laughs> I'll go to stock tire compound. We're going to need the stock tires. Um, in terms of whips, I'm going to stick 275s on the front. On the rear, we could go 295s. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. Now we need some... Badass rims to go on this. Um, we gotta go for some like VIP style kind of swag, swagger donage rims. But seeing as they are black, you can't really tell. Should go for that. Uh, let's go for those. Let's. I never choose those. Let's go for them. 
they kind of suit the Jeep version like a like an off-road kind of rim, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of like those. So let's go 21 inch on this as well. Uh, let's get this arch feeling that wheel a little bit more. That made no sense. Um, get the rim fit in the wheel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not even I'm not even thinking when I'm doing these. Um, my mind just disappears because I'm trying to talk about upgrades, but then I'm trying to talk about other stuff at the same time. And it's just like my my mind cannot handle this. Plus, <laughs> plus stop. Um, okay, so everything in here is going to be race. Um, so go through and put everything in drivetrain in race. Um, okay, platform handling, sticking with the stock brakes, uh, suspension. Oh yeah, that looks pretty sweet actually. So let's go with that. Okay, anti-roll bars. What I'm waiting for is the weight reduction. We're going to need that so badly. We need the weight reduction up in here. Uh, roll cage, yeah, let's do it. Really helped the launch, which is good. Um, okay, so we dropped from 2,500 to 1,900. Which is a big drop in terms of weight, so happy with that. Uh, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a lot of power into this. There's 1,900 kilos to carry here, which is a lot of weight. Um, so if we push this up to like 700, 800 horsepower, I think that should be absolutely fine. Um, so if we do that, let's go to the 800 mark. I think that should be more than sufficient. So if we upgrade the turbo, I'm sure that will help us in our in our quest to be 800 horsepower right now and uh, so if we do uh, valves I think valves gives us a good no maybe not <laughs> pistons and compression say no more alright let's chuck that on uh, we might as well if we just do everything race why not <laughs> why actually not it's gonna push us just over the 800 mark so to be fair, I don't really mind because there's 1,900 kilos in this, and we're gonna struggle to break traction. Suppose, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about my talking today. I can't speak for some reason. It's kind of weird, but I'm trying to grind out these videos for you guys. As um, soon as I am away right now, so if if I don't reply to comments, I am away on holiday, um, unfortunately. Um, so yeah. Trying to go through and see which ones I haven't put race shit on. There we go. And that should be that. Okay. So that is all the upgrades. So that's how much power we can get in that. And that's how light as possible we can get that as well. So we got to see how this slides now because it could go all wrong or it could go amazing. There's no in between right now. Okay, gear one was okay. So let's take this up to our normal area up here, towards the airport. It's got everything I want up here. And this is probably the area I drift most, so I like to treat my cars around this area, just to kind of, you know, match up with every other car, um, with the like, gear and etc. Okay, that looks pretty sweet. Love the look of this car. Okay, we've got we got enough power. I know that it's sliding so well in gear uh, gear one. It's just strange to be drifting this car right now. Well, it's not even a car; it's a jeep, isn't it? Gear is gearing is incredibly long, but it's still sliding. This is going to be an, like an absolute tank. Sideways, it's just going to be stable as fuck, as you can tell there, and that's. That's not even tuned or anything. Okay, <laughs> so let's make that gear in a lot shorter. Um, obviously, it was spinning up perfect, but we might as well get it shorter, get that little bit more acceleration out of this. Um, so let's go down to like 4.2, that should be fine. Um, alignment. Let's take the camera up in the rear a bit, even though it did feel fine. Um, as stock so I don't really want to change too much uh, it seems like on the horizon 2 is so easy to tune you don't even need a tune to be honest um, you could just drift standard cars just quite literally just slap enough power up to overdo the weight and you're fine just change up the gear in a tiny bit 
and your tune is sorted basically. Yeah, so it's a lot higher in the rear, but it is a Jeep, so completely understand that. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's about that. Differential, we're going to go 100% and 100%. There we go. Okay, let's try and slide this bad boy in now. Okay, that sounds a lot better. You can hear the engine actually trying to accelerate, which is good, which is what we wanted. <laughs> this is a madness. The weight in the in my wheel right now is crazy. Look how stable it is though. Oh my god. So yeah, this is this is more of a fun car compared to kind of like my other kind of JDM builds, etc. Because um, they're more serious, they're more like uh, tandems, etc. But this, pull it out, drift it, get people on your door and stuff. <sighs> Why not? Why not? Look at this. That is so stable sideways. That is sick. Okay. So let me just make the tire pressures in the front a little bit higher because the wheel is a little bit strong. And I kind of want the wheel to feel kind of the same with every car I use. Um, so let's go do that. And that should feel a lot better in the wheel. Yeah, that feels about normal. Obviously feels a little bit heavier in the wheel because it is a very heavy car. So you can't really expect anything different there. Uh, one thing I will say, transitions are very sluggish. But as you know, we are drifting the Mercedes Jeep. It's very heavy. Uh, it's got a long wheelbase, so it's not going to be snappy transitions at all. Uh, so just expect that. Uh, but there's enough power. Uh, the gearing is spot on right now. It drifts actually really well sideways. Once you've got it sideways, the stability is just there. Look at that. Look how look how stable that is. That's crazy. Uh, but I suppose once you get used to the weight, the size, etc., you can start throwing those transitions. Uh, and maybe trying to make them a little bit snappier etc but obviously it is heavy so they're not going to be the best transitions EU oh went for went in for a cheeky wall tap by that was more of a smash than the tap you know going in for the wall smash smash and grab bro Oh, bruh, this car is actually quite good, you know. Well, it's not a car, it's a Jeep, isn't it? Engine sounds delicious. Everything about this car right now is just hitting the spot. That's what I wanted last time. A nice little cheeky cheeky little wall tap right there. We're about that. We're about that. So let's take this nice and slow. Nice and stable. Oh, my God. This car is a madness right now. Look at this. Look how stable this thing is sideways. It's just perfect. The weight, um, the power, they just suit each other so much in this car. Um, wow. That's all I've got to say. I hope you guys do check out this tune. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be about it. I'm not going to tune that anymore because that felt pretty much spot on how I kind of planned that to go. So. That's good, uh, but what I will do now is I'm going to upload this onto the storefront for you guys to download. All you do is go to the setup manager, uh, which is the back button or whatever button it is on the controller. Go to load setup and just search my gamer tag. Uh, but we don't want to do that. Oh, we don't want to do that. <laughs> We're going to go on to save setup here. Uh, I'm just going to call it drift. And yeah I'm going to be uploading this so just search my gamer tag uh, when, once you're in the car uh, that is one thing I have to stress you have to be in the car to be order to be in order to search for the tune um, so there best for handling because that handling was absolutely insane and that is uploaded so check this out I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit different from my normal JDM kind of builds which is what I kind of planned from these random car builds so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time.